So are mushrooms okay to feed dogs? That's the question we're gonna talk about in today's video. Hey guys, welcome back to the Pet Parenting Reset. If you are new here, my name is Jessica. I'm a pet parent coach and positive reinforcement dog trainer. And today we are talking about mushrooms for dogs. So the question is, are mushrooms safe for dogs to eat? That's a complex question and a comp it has a complex answer because there are a lot of mushrooms out there and some are okay for your dogs to eat. Some are actually really good and have medicinal qualities. And then there are others that absolutely know they should not eat. So let's break those down into categories. Let's start with the mushrooms that are gonna be okay for your dogs to eat. And under that category, we have culinary mushrooms and medicinal mushrooms. So culinary mushrooms are gonna be the ones that you cook with, that you include in their food. Medicinal mushrooms are going to be the ones that are probably more likely gonna be used in tinctures and powders, things that we use as supplements as needed to help our dogs through certain medical situations. So let's start with those good mushrooms and we'll start with the culinary ones. So with culinary mushrooms, we're talking about mushrooms we can feed our dogs safely. And these are the kinds of mushrooms that can be found you know, at your local grocery store. You're probably even buying them for you to eat. These are gonna be button mushrooms, portobellos, um, creminis, porcinis, and even chanterelles. So mushrooms in general are high in fiber. Some of them can have protein and some of them can have antioxidants. But in general, these culinary mushrooms can be good to add to your dog's meal if you are creating a balanced meal plan and these mushrooms are included in that balanced meal plan or you are balancing over time and you include mushrooms once or twice a week to fill in some gaps. These are the nutritional benefits of the mushrooms we just talked about. They have amino acids, uh, they have vitamins A and B, they contain some copper, enzymes, folate, and even iron, magnesium and manganese, as well as niacin, riboflavin, phosphorus, and selenium, thiamine, and zinc. So as you can see, mushrooms are, uh, they pack a punch, right? They're not going to be the primary source of your dog's diet by any means, but they can help fill in the gaps in some of these areas where your balanced diet may need some gaps filled in. Okay, so now let's get to medicinal mushrooms. Medicinal mushrooms are just what you think. They have medicinal properties and they have been used to help treat uh, medical ailments for thousands of years. And the reason the medicinal mushrooms that I'm getting ready to give you a list of uh, have these medicinal properties is because they contain things like beta-glucans and polyphenols, as well as polysaccharides, and tryptopenes. So what are these miraculous medicinal mushrooms you ask? Well, here is a list. We've got turkey tail, chaga, reishi, and sataki, maitake, cordyceps, and lion's mane. Now all of these mushrooms have different medicinal properties and you would use them differently depending on what your dog's needs are. So I would highly recommend you seeking out whatever ailment your dog has, if you are looking to help your dog with that ailment and seeing which of these mushrooms will help medicinally. So this video is in no way sponsored by anyone, but I did want to mention one company that I know who is putting some really great medicinal mushroom tinctures out there, as well as some really great information for you to continue to learn about mushrooms and other ways to help your dog. That company is Adored Beast Apothecary. I will link them in the description below because they do have multiple medicinal mushroom tinctures. Turkey Tail, I know, is one of them. It is a powerhouse and I highly recommend you check that out at Adored Beast Apothecary to see if it might be something that could help with your dog. Okay, so let's talk about wild mushrooms. If you're out on a hike or 
just taking a walk and you happen upon some wild mushrooms or maybe there's some growing in your own backyard and your dog takes an interest in it, what should you do? Are they gonna be safe for your dogs to eat? That is the million dollar question. So if you're anything like me and you have absolutely no foraging skills, then don't let your dog eat the mushrooms, period. Yes, there are some really great mushrooms growing in the wild that are gonna be totally fine and safe for your dog to eat, but there are at least a hundred different species of mushrooms that are very toxic to our dogs. And I, I don't know about you, but I do not wanna take that chance with my dog because I have no idea what I'm looking at when I'm looking at a mushroom out in the wild. So if your dog has eaten the mushroom out in the wild and you don't know what it was, the best thing you can do is to assume it is toxic and go from there because the other way around, we may not wind up with a good outcome. So assume it's toxic, contact your veterinarian, let them know your dog ate a wild mushroom, you don't know what it was, and follow their direction. They will probably want you to come in and possibly even induce vomiting. I'm not a vet, I'm not gonna tell you what your vet is gonna do, but contact your vet. So here are some signs of toxic mushroom ingestion. So your dog ate a mushroom, you don't know what it was. If you see any of these signs, definitely book it to the vet or an emergency vet if your regular vet is not open or too busy. So we're looking for excess salivation, lethargy, or any sort of sedation. Maybe your, your dog is just, they can't hold their head up. They're barely able to walk. They can't keep their eyes open. They don't wanna get up and move. We're talking about lethargy and sedation here. Um, tremors, for sure. Seizures, definitely. I mean, I feel like anytime a dog has a seizure, we definitely wanna be in contact with our veterinarian, right? Elevated heart rate and vomiting or diarrhea. Vomiting and diarrhea as well. If you're having both of them, oh my goodness, yes, get there. Um, liver failure is also something we look for in dogs who have ingested poisonous mushrooms, that's something you're not gonna be able to notice at home, but your vet will be able to diagnose for you. Okay, so now you're saying, Jessica, I get it. I understand there are poisonous mushrooms. Don't let my dog eat mushrooms in the wild because I have no idea what is what when it comes to mushrooms. That's me. Um, and yes, there are some really great mushrooms I can buy at my grocery store that my dog can eat, but also there are medicinal mushrooms. How do I incorporate all of these for my dog? Well, cooking mushrooms is great. You can absolutely cook mushrooms for your dog's diet. If you have a balanced recipe, if you don't have a balanced recipe, by the way, and you're trying to create recipes for your dog at home, I highly recommend you seek out the help of a professional. I recently did a podcast interview with Destiny White. She is graduating this year from Canine Nutrition School. She's gonna be offering formulation services probably early 2023, if not late 2022. Uh, definitely check out the podcast, The Pet Parenting Reset. If you haven't already listened to that episode, definitely make sure you're following. Take a listen at that episode, follow Destiny. She's gonna be offering meal formulation services very soon. Um, there are also others who are currently offering meal formulation services that I mean, there are lots. The ones that I trust the most are gonna be Dog Dad, um, Scott Marshall of Raw Feeding 101, and then Ronnie Lejeune, and her company is, and her company is Perfectly Rawsome. So those are two meal formulation services that I can recommend hands down. I trust those two to do it for you right now and Destiny when she starts offering hers. Now I mentioned earlier about Adored Beast Apothecary. They are one company I know of who is killing it with incredible products for your dog and they are really, I, in my opinion, leaders in providing medicinal mushrooms, quality medicinal mushrooms for your pets. So if you are more interested in the medicinal mushroom aspect of uh, feeding mushrooms to your dogs, I highly recommend starting there, even if you only go for more information, though they do have incredible products. I am not affiliated, they are not sponsoring this video, but that is what I know to be the truth at this moment as I'm recording this video. <laughs> 
So that is gonna do it for today's video. I hope this was helpful. Um, mushrooms can be confusing, I get that. I really wanted to give you like a broad overview to get you started on your way to learn more about mushrooms and understand that there are good ones, but there are bad ones too. If you have any comments or questions, please make sure to leave them below or even recommendations for other videos I should be doing in the future. Comment down below and let me know. If you haven't already, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I don't know why you wouldn't be. I really try to put out incredible content to help you and your pets live happier, healthier lives. And who doesn't want that, right? Like our dogs and our, our pets in general are some incredible, incredible beings. Why wouldn't we want to make their lives happier and healthier? So make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, I've mentioned it before, but if you're not already following the podcast, why not? Please go ahead. I've got some incredible interviews over there, some really in-depth solo episodes. Make sure you're following the Pet Parenting Reset wherever you get your podcasts. And I can't believe I haven't mentioned it until now, but follow me on Patreon, guys. I post content over there that I don't post anywhere else. You guys get everything first when you are a Patreon supporter. So click the first link in the description. Make sure to join me on Patreon. You can join for as little as a dollar a month. You get excellent content that is exclusive to you. Um, and you are helping me to continue to put out content like this to you and other pet parents like you, as well as the podcast. This stuff is expensive, guys. <laughs> and um, I am just here to make sure you have as much information as you could possibly need to make your pet's lives healthier and happier. So with that, I'm gonna end today's video. Give your pets some extra love from me today. Until next time, bye guys.